Hi guys, welcome to my video. Um, now I'm just going to show you the progr progress of my quilt. And don't worry, that iron is stone is is cold, <laughs> so nothing's going to burn, guys. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I've been doing. So I basically have been cutting out the material. Now some of my material was longer than the other, so I had to do some cutting. Now, bear in mind, guys, this is my first quilt. So, of course, you know, it, it is probably going to be full of mistakes. But that's how we learn. Um, so, basically, yeah, so this is the calico. So, this is the top. This is where the pattern's going to be. Now, if I go just very slowly take you down. Now, that's the calico. Now, this is the lining. The lining underneath. Um... I uh, know, actually, sorry, that's the calico, that's the felt. Now, the reason I wanted to use the felt behind the calico, calico, because it gives it a firm backing. Um, so it gives it a bit of stability. And when you're going to be sewing directly on this calico, which I will be, that will give, um, uh, basically give it extra support. Um, so, and then this is the lining and this is the backing. This is going to be the backing pattern, this beautiful red. And I mean, like I said, guys, this is my first quilt. So I'll be honest with you, I'm not the best. Um, I ha I've got to learn to cut <laughs> straighter than that, basically. So, but you, you get my drift. Um, so basically, it's a bit like a big lasagna, <laughs> if you like. It, it's literally just layers. And so that's that's what I've been doing this morning, basically cutting out my four layers. Um, now, here's a tip, guys. Now, because now if you were doing something less big than this, you could use pins. But because, you know, but because this is a big um, piece. Now, closed pegs make a fantastic way of pinning your materials, especially when you're cutting. Because me and my husband, bless me, gave me, it needs two hands, it needs two pair of hands to basically get this as flush as possible together. Now, um, now as I mentioned before, now unfortunately that was a little bit difficult because not everything was exactly the same size. So, and I mean, you just got to work with what you have. And basically, you know, this is the material I have, so I thought I'm just going to make it work. Um, now, what I want to do now, in order to put it on the wall, I'm using this bamboo stick. Now, bamboo is very strong. And the idea, basically, is that the material is going to fold over. So that's going to make a lovely pattern in itself on the top. If you like, it'd be a bit like a banner. Also, that gives it extra support. Um, because, yes, don't get me wrong, bamboo is very strong. But I think that does give it a little bit of extra help because because it's probably quite I mean, there is qu quite a lot of material here, guys, all together. So so what I plan to do, I'm going to be stitching along there. Obviously, again, once I get it all flush, get it flush in line. And then I'm going to be doing running stitch from here all the way down to the bottom there. So that's going to give it a nice, give it a nice, um, yeah, give it a nice hold there. Give it a nice hold. And then basically, so my husband has put two nails on the wall. Um, if I gently move you guys over here. So as you can see, there's a nail there. So basically the nail, the the bamboo will basically hang on the nail there and there's one there as well right at the end now you can see why we want to cover this wall because like I said it's not the prettiest and you know it's a bit of a you know as I said it's no mining house so the walls aren't great and this one is particularly not the best so so and plus it'd be a great excuse for you know me to um yeah practice my skills basically so yeah i hope you enjoyed that guys and talking about something new this is the first time i used an iron today now this is a this is a nice little basic one i bought at um 
Matt, um, no, sorry, Wilkinson. And like I said, it's a nice little basic one because, as I said, I've never ironed in my life. So this is the first time I've done it. So this is my first ironing because uh, I did iron all this as well. Um, and yeah, it did took me. I mean, um, it is a steam iron. So to get rid of the big creases, I could have steamed it. But to be honest, because it was the first time I ironed, I just, you know, I want to take it slowly. And, and like. And as I said, you know, this is your first cut's always a bit of a daunting task. And yeah, so um so I just want to take everything slowly. So so basically, you know, this will move in the spare room at night. Um, because obviously <laughs> this is how bed. Uh so basically we're just gonna so hopefully everything will stay pinned. But even if it goes slightly askew, you know, we have lined it up. And yeah, and like I said, it's my first quilt, so you just have to forgive me, guys, for mistakes made along the way. Okay, guys, we just want to say thank you for all your support. So that's where I am on the quilt now. So today was basically lining it all together, cutting it to get it all to the closest size I possibly can. Because like I said, it was all different sizes, which isn't, you know, is a bit annoying, but... You know, this is, yeah, I just say, you know, this is what I've got. And because it's my first quilt, to be honest, it doesn't, you know, matter so much because it's going to be staying with me, you know, decorate that wall. So, yeah, so again, I just want to say thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.